Hey guys, welcome back to WP King. In this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress with Softaculous. So this method will work if you have a cPanel on your hosting account. And let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. So first of all, obviously you want to log into your hosting and open up your cPanel. Then you should be on a page that looks like this. And then right here in the search box, you want to type in Softaculous. Then you'll be presented with two options. You can go with either Softaculous Apps Installer or with WordPress Manager by Softaculous. It really doesn't matter with which one you go because the process is the same. So I will just click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. And right here I already have some WordPress websites installed on this hosting. And I will install WordPress on a brand new domain name I just bought. But if this is your first website, it will also work completely fine. So to get started with the installation, we will click on install. And in the installation URL, we will choose our domain, which is wp-king.co. So let's click on that. We want to remove this directory wp. And for the protocol, I will choose the last one. The version looks fine, so it automatically installs the newest version. We will scroll down. Here in the site settings, you can input your site name and site description. So I will type in WP King. And for the site description, I will type in learn WordPress for free. Then we have to make an admin account. So you want to input admin username, admin password and admin email. Make sure you remember this information because we will use it to log in into our WordPress dashboard. So I'll just type in uh, my username, my password and my admin email. So this all looks fine. We can scroll a little bit down. Language is English, which is good. I won't install any of these plugins, so you don't have to either. In the advanced options, you don't really want to play with this around, so I'll just leave it as default. And for the team, right here, I won't choose anything because I will later install my team that I want. So we can scroll to the bottom and we can click on install. The installation will begin. And as you can see, it's already done. So this only takes a couple of seconds. And right here I opened my website and as you can see we have successfully installed the WordPress. You can log into the website and everything else. So as you can see we have WordPress installed and that's it for this video guys. If this helped you make sure to comment, leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.